Um, we're here today. Well, first, my name is G2 Brown, J-I-T-U, last name Brown, B-R-O-W-N, um, former education organizer, Kenwood Oakland Community Organization, uh, National Director, Journey for Justice Alliance, but a local school council member here at Diet High School since 2003. Um, we are here today uh, because we've been pushed to the point of putting our bodies on the line to say enough is enough, that we are tired of the destabilizing of our schools. We are tired of schools that have been sabotaged from the very beginning, being labeled as failing, and our children being shipped around from school to school and treated as if they don't matter. While on the other side of town, children have Mandarin Chinese, they have Spanish, they have world languages, they have the, all the opportunities they need, while our children go to schools where they have to take art and physical education as online classes. We are tired of, of Mayor Rahm Emanuel and the Board of Education refusing to support a community-driven driven proposal for Walter Diet Global Leadership in Green Technology High School. As this school sits closed, we live in one of the most historic communities, African American communities in the United States with no open enrollment neighborhood high school. That is not our fault. That is not the result of bad teachers. That is not the result of disinterested uh, students. That is the result of disinvestment from Chicago Public Schools. We, against our better judgment, we participated in the RFP process. But before an RFP even was released, eight months before an RFP was released, we gave Chicago Public Schools the proposal for Walter Diet Global That's Leadership right. at Green right. Technology right. High School right. as the hub for a sustainable community school village. We won the support of six additional feeder schools to participate in the process. We got over 2,000 petition signatures. Close to 600 people mailed letters to Mayor Rahm Emanuel. We've held since 2011 six town hall meetings. And the response has been because of the mayor and Alderman Will Burns' dislike for Kim, right, one right. member of the coalition, the Kenwood Oakland Community Organization, they would sabotage the education of children. So we participated in the RFP process. We participated in the RFP process, but they had a dilemma. This group that they, ha they hated had the best proposal for the school. They had a strong academic proposal that expressed a vision that CPS has never expressed for schools in this neighborhood. Right, right, right. What must they do? So what they do is cancel the August 10th hearing and then cancel the board vote on August 26th. So we know the shell game when we see it. And so where we are is that we will be prepared to be here. We want to say that we are very excited that we've had an add two additional people that have joined on as hunger strikers. Uh, Reverend Robert Jones from Mount Carmel Missionary Baptist Church. <laughs> Sister Anna Jones, local school parent at Woodson Elementary School and at Mollison Elementary School. We are tired of our voices not being heard. There has to be accountability to the public for the destabilizing of schools in our community and the sabotage of our children's education. So today is a referendum on systemic racism and the fact that the lens they are looking through when they see our children is one that is hate-filled and they have to prove us wrong. But what we will be here until we get Walter Diet, Global Leadership, and Green Technology High School. So um, we are honored to have speakers here with us today. Uh, our first speaker will be uh, a champion for justice, a man whose public record speaks for itself, uh, Cook County Commissioner, Jesus Chewy Garcia. Yeah. 